Okay, this is the last traffic I'll hear for a while. <laughs> Starting down the uh, Herman Gulch Trail portion of the Continental Divide Trail. I believe it's section 31. And uh, new adventure. Rock hikes. And it's hard to visualize on a video what elevation is like. So this is, if I had a level on my phone, this would be about level. And then if I was gonna parallel the trail, that's about the direction I'm going. So right now it's over 10%, I think. It's probably about a 12, 13% grade, maybe, maybe more. It's supposed to be up to 25 at certain parts on this trail, I think. Just wow. So I'll go ahead and document that I just got caught peeing for the first time on trail in my life. Oh well, I guess I'm a hiker. <laughs> They were very understanding. I had looked in front of me and behind me, there was a group in front of me. And so I apologized about twice. And the third time the guy said, don't worry about it. I said, well, really, I guess I'm not. I'm 61 and I'm full of water and coffee this morning. So there you go. <laughs> oh well. Few sections remind me of the, uh, the trails in the gorge. Not too many sections like this, but a few with roots and rocks and such. reasonably sure I finally reached the lake so here we go all together now
So the clouds are building. We'll know later on in this video if I had storms or not. There weren't any predicted. I don't think this far from the front range, but I guess you never know. That one there doesn't look all that great to me, but I'll get down below here in the next hour and I'll be all right. Heading east on the CDT, I feel a, another set of views coming on in the next 30 seconds or so. I think maybe you can see them coming up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wind's picking up pretty good, so I'm gonna kind of run down this trail and get in that clear area at the bottom and hang out for a while before I decide whether to start up that next incline. Well, here I am at my home for the night. Um, I'm about 500 feet or so below the ridge line on the trail. I got off the trail about 100 yards about 2 o'clock and started setting up because I was afraid of that right there. So that looks like that's coming just about any time. I haven't heard any thunder yet. It certainly looks like it's raining. And if I was a through hiker, I guess I would just keep on trucking unless it was storming up on the ridge. But anyway, there's my, there's my uh, home and it's early, but I'll be safe end of day one, unless there's thunder and I capture that from inside the tent. So there's my tent. There's the trail going up. There you can see it. Climbing about 1,200 feet. And that's what I would have been running into, or would have run into me about uh, about two hours after I decided to set up camp, so maybe I'm not um, too careful after all. <laughs> it cost me a couple of three hours of hiking, but oh, that doesn't look good up there. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, whoo, 
pretty chilly night, but made it through pretty good. Got that going right there. Rocking the uh, Golden Bear pajamas since somehow or another I didn't make it with my thermal pants. Fortunately, I had my regular clothes bag. So, coffee, oatmeal, 5.30 a.m. Mountain time. Good morning. Happy 4th of July. Go America. It's already great. Um, I'm on the exposed side of the trail this morning, so when the sun came up, it instantly heated things up. So I'm already in shorts and t-shirt. Feeling pretty good. Except for that beard, looks a little like Kevin Durant. Oh well. Not the biggest concern I have today. <sighs> Just beautiful and clean and crisp. I don't know if I've said it before, but it's always amazing to me in Colorado how the trees look like they're intentionally planted I mean they're just they seem to grow in exactly the same direction I guess it's just the nature of the kind of evergreens they are 